Nintendo sure loves irony. When I hear the word new, I think of something I haven't seen before, but Nintendo? Well, Nintendo just dusts off something from their archive and slaps a new on it. I've already argued that modern Nintendo isn't that interested in innovation, so instead of beating that poor horse, I'll show you why the recycled elements in Yoshi's New Island are what make it unique. Just take a look at the health system. Whether you love the sound of Mario crying or rather jam a spatula in your ear, you have to admit that Nintendo's approach is pretty out there. Yoshi is nearly indestructible, but baby Mario is as fragile as a baby riding a dinosaur can be. Having to chase down a bubble encased baby is pretty different from getting killed by just taking a couple hits, right? And then there's the level design. Stages sprawl like a colorful labyrinth, and you can't be sure which walls are solid and which hide secrets without touching them. Most games empower your peepers, but in Yoshi's New Island, your eyes only tell you lies. Or show you lies. Either way, your eyes are lying. Also, Yoshi is kind of a vehicle in his own right. Every rideable animal is. But in Yoshi's New Island, he takes that whole vehicle thing one step further by transforming into some horrible dinosaur machine hybrid. Oh, Yoshi, of course Mario punches you in the head when he wants you to eat. You're nothing more than a soulless helicopter. Even your movement is uniquely Yoshi. That poor dinosaur plods slowly along and can barely jump, but he can somehow hover even without the benefit of wings. So jumping isn't all that important in Yoshi's New Island. It's all about finding secret ways to reach new heights, like lobbing an egg at a cloud. So there's not much new going on in Yoshi's New Island, but we have learned a valuable lesson. If you're going to rip off another game, aim your sights at something that's really different from any other game out there. That way, everyone's a winner. Thank <laughs> you.